One abiding memory that I'd like to share is um, of uh, me being taken through uh, with with my grandmother in 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 what we what she described as the bluebell woods, um, and uh, and she described it at a particular time of year as being a sea of bluebells. And actually, I was quite disappointed when there wasn't any sea; there were just bluebells. Um, but she used to walk me through, and I and I spent you know hours and hours in this one wood so I kind of claimed it as my own um, and we walked down to the bottom of this wood and out of the end of this wood there was a little path that led down uh, to a stile and over the stile was uh, a little track past an apple tree that was forever dropping apples in my memory so there's there's la- there's always apples scattered um, little small uh, I don't know what they call quince apples perhaps uh, anyway, climbing up this metal uh, staircase and, and this one tiny little fragile bridge over a railway, railway line and um, standing there gripping the, 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 the crisscross of cast iron that was painted green. I remember rather, rather sort of, um, rather, rather cold green and, um, and looking up and down this empty line waiting for a train to come and in those days there were steam trains that ran up and down this line um, and I'm standing there and one minute I'm with my grandmother and possibly my mother's there as well and my sister but I'm alone on that cross part of the bridge standing directly over the track and this steam train appears and it just comes towards me like this most powerful scary magnificent monster and I am enveloped in smoke 